guys, to the law here. It's me, Erica, and then my sister. Oh, where is my sister? I think I decided to quit YouTube. Just kidding. No, I'm doing the iPhone, uh, what's on my iPhone video, and I'm the only one with an iPhone. Uh, she has the droid, so obviously she can't do the what's on my iPhone video. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be doing that. I've seen these videos, they're quite popular and stuff. I've seen a lot of them, especially recently. Um, and I always like looking at them because I can see how people edit their pictures and what apps they have to see if I can get any ideas on what apps I can get. Um, so yeah, uh, it does feel a little bit weird that I'm filming without my sister. Um, this is my first time doing it, obviously. But um, yeah, so I have the, the iPhone 6. I just got it. I have the, black, the white and gold one. It's, the, it's just the 6, not the 6 Plus. So yeah, I'm just going to show you guys my apps and then um, how I edit my Instagram pictures. Um, if you're not following us on Instagram, just uh, I have the links right here, and you can follow both of us on Instagram. We have separate Instagram accounts. But yeah, I'm just gonna jump right into this uh, video, and so you guys can see my apps and how I edit my pictures. Ready? All right, guys. So this is my iPhone 6. Um, I have a case on it this time. It's a pink and clear case that I got from Amazon. Um, so I'm gonna start with. The apps that I don't use, I'm not going to go too much in detail about them because they're kind of boring. Um, so on the second page are all the apps that I do not use, like games, utilities, iBooks, podcasts, yada yada yada. So I do have my Geico app. I don't really use this much, but it's good to have because it has my insurance cards already in there. Next app is called Find Friends, and me and my mom, we kind of track each other for fun. <laughs> um, yeah, she's the only one I have up there. Um, she's on the East Coast, so... Um, sometimes I just track her for fun. Alright, so next is the first page. I just scrolled on over to the first page. And these are all the apps that I use. Um, calendar, camera, photos, those all come with the iPhone. Nothing to go too much in detail over. I have my Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter right here. And I'll have my, well, both of our social media links listed below so you guys can follow us if you want to. Um, Let's see, what else? I have my blog loving app right here, and that just has all the blogs that I read in one place, so that's super helpful. Next is called Hot Schedules. Um, I use this for work, and my manager will upload uh, my schedule, and so I can go up here and see when I'm working, and I can also like swap shifts and pick up shifts, or um, I can like mess with coworkers or my manager, so this app is super helpful and handy as well. Um, the next app is called Plum Perfect. I mentioned this in my favorites video. Um, what this is, is like you take a selfie and then, like here's the selfie right here. It's not the best, but it'll do for now. And um, it generates a bunch of beauty products that will look good on your skin tone or they'll look good on you. And so it's helpful because like if you go into a store and you're like, I wonder what looks good on me. You can just pull up this app and um, you can favorite a bunch of items, so when you go in the store, they'll already be there in that folder. Uh, let's see, next is my banking app, Bank of America. And then this next app is called Eventbrite. And I use this for, like, if me and my sister want to go to an event in LA, or we want to see what's going on in LA that we want to go to, we just um, head on over to this app, and they have it listed by categories, like, you know, sports, you want to go to a sporting event, beauty, fashion event, um, etc. Uh, so this is pretty cool as well. Alright, so this is our my media stuff folder and I just have like a bunch of like YouTube apps in here as well as some music apps. Um, this app right here I just use to watch videos and then the YouTube Studio app right here I just use for um, to view the analytics of the videos that we uploaded. Also it alerts me to let me know if somebody has commented on a video so I comment back using this app. Um, my next app is called Pandora. Obviously, that's a music app. And Shazam, this is coming handy for me. Um, and then the next app is called my shopping shopping folder right here. And I just have my Pinterest, Amazon, and Groupon, and Vincent app. Um, I'm on Pinterest right now. I've had my Pinterest for a while, but I'm just now, you know, starting to get addicted to it. So I'm on that a lot. Uh, Amazon, obviously, I'm the Amazon queen. I go on Amazon for everything. Um, so this app is perfect to have on my phone. Groupon, I don't go on that as much, but I also want to have that on my phone because I do go on there uh, quite a few times, but not as much as Amazon. And then my next app is called Vented. I don't know if you guys have heard about it, but it's like a marketplace app. Yeah, you just list clothes that you don't want or that you want to sell. Um, I have my high-waisted shorts that I listed like a few days ago. 
Um, so if anybody's interested in high-waisted shorts, hit up my Vinted. Uh, shameless plug there. Um, so yeah, I'm also selling some black and gold shorts, a dress, and a clutch. And I already sold this black and white dress, so yeah, that's sold. Um, let's see. So yeah, that's my Vinted profile. Um, it's called my Vinted profile name is Erica Twin. I'll have that listed below as well if you want to take a visit to my Vinted profile. All right, so a few other apps below. Mail. I, have, I get a lot of junk mail, so the sixty thousand eight hundred forty-six or eight hundred forty-eight unread mail is like probably junk. I should probably enroll in Unroll Me. Dots com, I think, unroll me so they can get rid of this junk mail so I won't have to keep getting it. So, yeah, this is not like I don't ignore email, so those are all junk mail. All right, so next is uh, phone and Safari music, yeah, basic stuff. All right, so now the folder that you all came here for, which is the photo editing folder, um, and I have a lot of apps in that folder. First one is called um, Afterlight. I'm sure you guys have heard of that one. I use that one a lot for filters. I already have a picture up. And let's see what my favorite one is. My favorite one I like, I like using Brightfire. I use that one a lot. Or I will use, let's see what Dreamy looks like. I kind of like Idaho sometimes. I use Idaho. So yeah, quite a few of them I like, and they come with a bunch, so you have a bunch to choose from. That's always a good thing. <clears throat> and then next is called Party Party. Um, I like this app. I don't use it a lot. I only use it when I'm around a group of friends. Um, obviously, you can do it by yourself too, but um, I think it's more fun when you're with a bunch of people. Um, it's kind of like, uh, let's see. I don't know how to describe it. I can only show you. It's really, really cool. It's like you're at a party. I mean. Yeah, kind of like that, and um, let me see. It's like this, where you take a bunch of pictures and then um, Party Party will kind of generate it into something like this. So I think that's pretty cool. <laughs> I did one by myself. Um, like I said, you can do it with, by yourself or it's fun when you do it with a bunch of people. Let's see, what else is next? Next is my Camera Plus app. Um, I use this for, the technical side of photo editing. Uh, let's see if we can edit this picture. <clears throat> so like, so you can hit the flash button and it shows how the picture looked like with flash. Portrait, um, let's see if you have food. Hit that food button and then, let's see. Backlit, I use that sometimes and that usually brightens up my picture. So yeah, if you have a dark picture, like I usually go to this app and um, use different icons and that'll usually help my picture to lighten up a little bit. Um, so you got clarity. You got a bunch of these over here, so any wrong picture can turn right with this app. And then they also have uh, they also have filters as well, and I love their filters too. One of my favorites is Sunkissed. I think that's in special. I don't know. Yeah, one of my favorites is Sunkissed, and I use this one for like. Uh, this usually works for like outside pictures, but I like that one. That's one of my favorite ones. Um, let's see. Yeah, so emo. Magic hour. Yeah, they have a bunch of them as well. So, um, and I like it because they're not the same as Afterlight. Um, obviously, I wouldn't get apps that have the same type of filters. I like them because they're different. So. Camera Plus just has a different array of filters, which I like. All right, so then my next one is called Photo, or P-H-H-O-T-O. -O. I like this one too, I use this one with my friends. It's kind of like Party Party, but it's a little bit different. Um, it's kind of has that GIF, if you've seen like GIFs um, on Facebook or something like that. It's kind of It kind of has that feel. So let me show you real quick. Uh, let's see, this, we did this at the Christmas party as well. I love it. Yeah, so you just, uh, when you're taking the picture, you kind of move along or dance along with it, and the photo will generate that for you. And yeah, there it goes again. <laughs> I love looking at it. All right, so my next app is called Big Lens, and I like this because it blurs the background in your pictures if you want like a part, one part of the picture to be the main focus. And um, what you do is you load a picture, and I'm going to use this one right here. 
it's like the model picture for all my uh, apps right now. Um, so I'm using this one and then what you do is you hit basic or advanced, um, I use this, and you just kind of color in the part that you want focus. So you do it like that. And the part that's not in the red is the part that's going to be blurred out. So obviously I'm going super fast right now so it's not perfect. Alright, so you hit auto right here, hit that auto icon, and it kind of um, perfects it for you, kind of. Um, but then after that, you hit next, and it shows you how the, let me see if you guys can see it, how it's a little bit blurred in the background. If you want it a little bit more blurry, hit uh, aperture. Honestly, the aperture setting, it's kind of like you have a DSLR camera. Um, which is what this app is for because obviously the iPhone is not a DSLR camera so if you want your picture to have that DSLR effect um, you can use this app and it's perfect for it so anyway the aperture setting obviously the lowest aperture point is will make the background a lot blurrier the highest aperture will make it not as blurry um, so I kind of like to use it in between uh, 1.8 is the lowest and I don't know if you guys can, guys can see but yeah that's kind of blurry in the back and then you have uh, my face is the main focus uh, so yeah you can use that for like outside pictures as well if you're taking nature pictures I think it'll be pretty cool for that so yeah that's big lens and let's see what else alright so next is um, photo grid and this is just the collage app um, it's what I use for most of my collages I have another collage app but it's actually different from photo grid and I'll show you later but yeah I used to use this if I want to just make a collage um, you just put the photos in there and sometimes it can make the collage for you or you can use the already preset collages but I like it because sometimes it'll make it for you and you can also have control over yourself so you get the choice so that's photo grid next is timer cam um, I noticed that the iPhone 6 already has like a little timer on it uh, but I'm still gonna keep this one just in case because it has different uh, time settings on there um, next is a beautiful mess I don't use this as often as after light and camera plus but I use it for like if I take pictures of my if I take pictures of my food um, that's a good app for that all right so my next app is called VSCO cam I'm sure you guys have heard about that app in like various iPhone videos um, and this is also a photo editing app I like it because it's kind of like camera plus but um, it's a little bit different they have different filters um, but they also have kind of the same photo editing tools. You can use filters and you can edit the picture as well um, on the technical side. So here's the picture right here and let's see. Then you hit the tools button down below and then it gives you a bunch of filters you can use. Let's see, I like using C1 I think T1 might, T1 might be my favorite. And then we got M3. So yeah, they have a bunch of filters. Um, well, not a lot. Um, but you can also, let's see, edit the picture as far as saturation, contrast, all that other stuff that Camera Plus has. Um, I believe Afterlight has that as well. So yeah, it's kind of the same, but they have different filters as well from Camera Plus and Afterlight, which I like that they're not all the same. So yeah, that's VSCO cam. And then my next is Polomatic, and that's like a um, photo editing app as well, where your pictures kind of turn out like a Polaroid. Um, so that's pretty cool. And let's see if I can get an example here. Let's import one. Let's use this one. I use it for everything else. So yeah, see it comes out like a Polaroid, which is pretty cool. And you can add filters to the Polaroid. You can add filters to the Polaroid as well. And then my last one is called Frametastic. It's another collage app, and like I said, it's different from Photo Grid in that you can add effects to it. So let me show you. So yeah, so you'll say you're making a collage and it looks something like this. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit save. And you have the option, which is pretty cool save it as a p image or a video. I like using video for this one because I don't know if you noticed but like sometimes in collages you can't really see um, the pictures in the collage so what this does is that um, InstaCollage will show each picture that's or each picture that's in each frame 
um, up close and personal so you can see you know what, what you're looking at so yeah, I thought that was cool it's different from photo grid uh, photo grid is just the collage app and then this one is um, more of like a special effects collage app so yeah that's called um, yeah so that's frame I'm sorry that's frame tastic I don't know what I call it earlier but yeah frame tastic is the um, the app for that all right guys so that's all my um, apps on my phone I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, I love looking at these videos so if you do have one let me know in the comments if you have an, what's on my iPhone 6 video or what's on my iPhone video I love looking at these alrighty thank you guys for watching bye